everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome to Let's Play Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. In the last episode, we found the killer, or should I say the one who hired the killer. And we are trying to solve the mystery of how we, how we died and why and what is our connection to Lynn. And, oh yeah, that's the name of the redhead woman, by the way. Her name is Lynn. And, uh, yeah, we, we saw the, the bad guys talking, and it was really interesting. <laughs> and now it seems that Lynn is still in danger, so we're going to have to go through the phone line to her apartment and try to save her again. So, let's do it. Hmm. Let's go to Lynn's apartment. There's a new assassin there. Do do do. <gasps> no, doggy, no! You killed a dog. The telephone line guided me to Lynn's apartment. Fortunately, Lynn isn't here yet, but unfortunately, the hitman is. And there are a couple of other unfortunate little developments waiting for me, it seems. Oh no! Hmm. It looks like there's an unlucky little lady here tonight. Aww. And an even unluckier little doggy. Oh, that really triggers me. No! When it comes to animals, especially dogs, man. Dogs and cats, I'm like, no, I can't. Uh. The poor, brave little warrior. He must have been trying to defend his mistress. Aww. My favorite character, no! <laughs> if Lim came home now, I have to do something about this situation. And fast. And honestly, there's only one thing we can do, guys. We have to come here and go back in time. He's unconscious. Oh, never mind. Now, this is the hard part for me because I have a headcanon voice for this character. But I can't do it as well as Skinny can. <laughs> Even Pharaoh's voice was pretty cute, too. Oh man, how do I do your voice? I can't do you justice, my favorite. No! <laughs> okay. Alright, let's do this. <clears throat> huh? Where am I? And more to the point, who am I? Who am I? Uh, are you talking to me? Of course. Do you see anybody else around here? If I remember right, the dead don't have voices. Their thoughts reach the other person directly. I guess that explains why this dog is talking to me right now. This is your mistress's apartment, and you are, presumably, the little doggy who died here. Aww. Died? So, I'm dead, huh? Let's see. The dead lose their memories. They even forget what they look like. And so that's what this blue flame shape is all about. That's a flame? <laughs> okay then. I didn't know that was a flame, but okay. Oh! Oh, he's so cute! He's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. He's so cute. He's a little Pomeranian. Oh. I say this while my dog's been, like, wanting my attention. <laughs> Alright, after this, I have to give him some love. Cute doggies. Alright. <laughs> There's no time to lose! Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla is in trouble! Huh? You mean, you remember? You know who you are? Oh, he did a little bark! He's so cute! Okay, I'm sorry, I gotta focus. That's right! I'm Missile! Nice to meet you! I'm a Pomeranian! Well, I guess now I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. Thanks to this little doggy. Miss Camilla! 
Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla is in trouble, and I vowed to devote my life to protecting her. But I died before I could rescue her. How could I let her down like this? So you're more worried about your mistress's safety than your own death, huh? I like your moxie, little doggy. He's so sweet. Looks like it's time to go back to four minutes before this little guy's death. Time to save his life. <laughs> Okay. Let's uh, rewind time. Uh oh. Speaking of little doggies. Oh boy. <clears throat> Let's see. First of all, I better see what I can find out about your death, little guy. Excuse me, but where exactly are we? Huh? You followed me? I followed you, you brought me with you, one or the other. Hmm, looks like the dead can move around together. This is the land of four minutes before your death. Really? We're here? So that means you're going to save Miss Camila, doesn't it? I said that weird. Doesn't it? <laughs> Aren't you even surprised? I mean, we just traveled through time and... Not especially. I mean, Miss Camilla can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. So if she can do that, then it's not so strange that you can walk backwards through time. You have such a cute thought process. <laughs> so that's the way your mind works, huh? I guess that's reasonable enough. Come on, come on, let's get started. Okay, first we watch your last four minutes unfold. Then, we use what we learned to save Camilla. Just like when I saved Lynn at the junkyard. If we watch closely, we ought to be able to get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. Of course! Leave it to me to sniff out a few clues. Aww. Oh, that's adorable. Look at his tail. She's cute, too. Yippee! Found the remote! Uh-oh. <laughs> Triggering him. <laughs> Uh-oh. Shut that mutt up! Uh-oh. No, Missile! You're not supposed to bark! The lady next door is crabbier than ever tonight. If it barks again... I'll knock this wall down! You don't want her to knock the wall down, do you, boy? Huh, why do you like to bark so much anyway? Girl, I feel you, my dog. <laughs> my dog loves to bark and cry and whine for attention all the time. <sighs> little dogs, man, little dogs. They're cute, but... <laughs> You sure are cute, but just don't get us killed, okay? Darn, I really wanted to watch TV, too. Hey, I know. I'll listen to music. Aw, he's so cute. They are so cute together. <laughs> oops, oops. Phew, that was close. That was close. Not a good place to put that. <laughs> I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. Hey, all those donuts just sitting there. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, you have a mouse. Uh-oh. He's like, no, that's my donut. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'll knock this wall down! Dang, girl, how loud do you have your headphones? You don't even notice? Dude, that's too loud. Oh, he was so happy. He was all friendly. He's like, oh, hello, who are you? Oh, that's so sad. My dog, I don't know. I think he'd be the type to be barking at them, but he'd be scared too. Hmm, I don't really like it when Job's outside this... Ugh. Hmm, 
I don't really like it when jobs outside the original scope crop up. I have to put it down as a separate charge and accounting never likes that. But I guess it can't be helped. Sorry, kid. Oh no, you freaking monster. But dude, how oblivious is she? Jesus. <laughs> So that's the whole dramatic story of what happened four minutes before you died. Wow, look at that! I'm dead. I'm kind of shocked to tell you the truth. Okay, let's get started on saving her. But let's see. How are we going to do this? Seems to me the easiest way would be for you to take a big bite out of that man's leg. Oh, I don't think I could do that. Whenever somebody I don't know comes around, all I want to say to, th to them is... Welcome! <laughs> I can't help it! Okay, then I guess the only thing we can do is get the little lady to help herself somehow. Oh, I don't think she could do that. Did you notice her putting those red things on her head? Red things? Oh, you mean the headphones. Whenever she puts those red things on, that's it. I can call her name until my throat is sore, but she never hears me. To be perfectly honest, I hate those red things. And that's exactly how my dog feels whenever I'm recording. I have a feeling. Because he's always giving me such a hard time. <laughs> hmm, you're right. With those headphones on, our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the intruder's gun. That's way too loud. So maybe that's our first lead. Now we know we have to do something about that. You would think she would notice the movement out of the corner of her eye, at least. Alright, let's see, what can we do? Um, open, dial, extend. Oh, what's this? Oh, so close! You almost knocked those red things down! Hey, I think you're onto something there. If we drop them in the fish tank, Camila won't be able to use them anymore. But if we drop them in the fish tank, Miss Camila will get a scolding from Miss Lynn. All you have to do is pretend it was your fault. That's the way of the honorable warrior. Okay, but you've obviously never seen Miss Lynn when she gets mad. Huh. Well, can't really change the little lady's fate by just standing around watching. An intruder in black will be entering this room in just four short minutes, and my ghost tricks can only get me so far. If I want to save the little lady, I'm going to have to get her cooperation. And the first step is to get rid of anything that might get in the way. Ah, uh, okay. Um, the trick, dial, why open? Oh, I don't see the point of that. Okay, so he's barking. What else can I do? I don't know. Nothing right now. Oh, he's barking. Put that mud up. Anything changing? No. Uh, this is one of those times where you just gotta watch. Uh, what was this? No, this is not supposed to work. Oh, okay. What am I gonna do? Hmm. Oh, that's so cute. I know she's saying stuff, but it's stuff we've seen before. Uh-oh, this isn't good. Miss Camila is going to put those red things on her head! Yeah, I know. And once she gets them on, it's all over. She won't be able to hear a thing. What can I do? Let's see, where are we? Stand? I don't know. Maybe while she's grabbing it? Yes! Oh no! Darn! How did I manage to do that? 
Lin just bought these headphones, too. How about if we tell her you did it, Missile? Aw, oh, that's not nice. <laughs> He's like, okay. Darn, now I can't even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. No, just some ghosts. <laughs> Ghost tricks. <laughs> Forgive me, Miss Camilla. I'm only doing it to save you. So what? Now you think you're one of the gods, huh? Huh? No, never mind that. The most, um, the important thing is we managed to change the situation. That's true. At least now we can use the little lady's ears to help us. Yay, fate changed. Okay, we got more time. Is there anything else I can do? Anything. Come on. Okay, she wants donuts. Sweet. Something else I can do now. Oh, hold on. What are you saying? The question is, what do we do now? Unless we do something more, the outcome will still be the same. Oh, if only I had big, strong teeth and an aggressive spirit. Hmm, doesn't seem like we can stop the hitman from coming in. So, in that case... Oh, I have an idea! Why don't we hide, Miss Camilla? Hide, huh? That sounds like just the kind of idea a little doggy would come up with. Are you making fun of me? But where could a little lady hide in this room? Hmm, I think I might have just the place. But there's just one little problem. How are you going to get her to hide? Yeah. How to get Miss Camila in there, right? Exactly. If I could possess Camila herself, the answer would be easy. But I can't do that, so I guess the only other the only way to do it is to lead her there. Now, what can I do using the objects in this room? I think I'll try out various things and see what I can come up with. And I'll be here watching, cheering you on. All right, you're so adorable. Okay, move, rock. Oh, donut. Mm. Where'd the donuts go? I didn't even notice them moved <laughs> off. Okay. So she's like, okay, whatever. Um, now I can go to the other side of the house. I play this... Star ornament. Oh! Shut that mutt up! Uh -oh. Hmm. If you bark like that, how can anybody enjoy the pretty melody? And your poor mistress has to get up and quiet you down every time. Yes, I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior. Hey, look at that. One of the ornaments fell off the tree. I'm not interested in things like that. I graduated from playing with balls a long time ago. You should try graduating from needless barking, too. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> with my dog, at least. Sorry, that's one thing I could just never give up. So, what, a donut? <gasps> Another mouse! Whoa! Wait, but ha I can't get over there! No! Wow, she's slow to react. Missile, if you bark like that, you'll make the lady next door start howling. If you keep this up, that wall is going to come down on our heads before we know it. But you'll protect me if anything bad happens, right, Missile? Of course I will. That's quite a big promise for a little fellow. Poor little guy's up against some formidable opponents. The man in black and the woman in purple. <laughs> Okay, now what? 
Why do you always give your mistress so much trouble? Yes, I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior. But when that little guy starts squeaking, it gets me all in an uproar. And when I bark, Miss Camilla always comes over and gives me a nice hug. Hmm, we might be able to take advantage of that piece of information. Huh? How? Whenever the donut falls, the rat shows up to check it out. And then you go to bark at the rat. And then our little lady comes to quiet you down. Yes, that's just the way things work, I'm afraid. So, in other words, the donut can be the bait that will lead the little lady to where we want her. Oh. I can rock it again? No, nothing else? Huh. Huh, I can't make another donut fall. Hmm, what do we do now? Without that donut, the squeaky guy won't come and I won't bark. Hmm, looks like only one donut will fall. But the donut's the only bait that will lead the little lady to where we want her. Maybe I should rethink my plan of attack. Uh, what else can I do? I mean, he comes and... There's other stuff on the other side of the room, but I can't get there. Actually, okay, so you know what guys, we're gonna have to figure out this puzzle in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you're enjoying this, and until next time, have a nice day. Bye!